Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now, in this series, I help you guys make some extra cash or XP or whatever it is that you guys need here in Red Dead Online from finding special locations to tonics to whatever it might be. But in this video specifically, we are going to be making some money because everybody seems to need some money right now in Red Dead Online, considering that Rockstar lowered a lot of the abilities down to level 60. Now we can get all of our pamphlets and whatnot at level 60 or higher now. So people are, are obviously looking for the best ways to make some cash. So in this one specifically, we are gonna be fishing for some salmon, and then I'm gonna give you a bonus area, which I'm actually gonna to go to first. Oh, hold on. I think we actually have an ambush up here. Let's go ahead and take this thing out actually real quick, shall we? That'd be fun. We're gonna get some XP for this. We wanna get close to this as possible. I was not expecting this. This actually happened the last time that I was doing a starting a video it was kind of interesting but you know what we'll roll with it where's this other guy at where's he at there he is okay i know there's a couple behind me i just don't see him i get him i think i got him i want i want to loot these guys i'm hoping that maybe we can find ourselves a treasure map too that would be amazing but yeah that's that's another thing that i actually wanted to be able to do at some point here in the very near future there we go that was a good shot There we go. And let's see here. We got a guy right there. That should be done, Zo. And we got a couple other ones up there. All right, let's go ahead and loot these guys real quick if we can have access to them. That'd be amazing. Amazing if we can get ourselves a treasure map right here. I need one more, and then I got three of them filled in my inventory. This is not what I planned on doing this video, but that is perfectly okay. We kind of stray from it a little bit. But we are in the Dakota River Valley. And we are looking, obviously, for some salmon, which we're going to get to here in just a second. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? Did you just shoot my horse? You prick. Where'd you go? Where is he at? There he is. I can't believe he just shot my horse. All right, so we got our ourselves 180 experience points. We cleared out that... Uh, and bush. I can't believe they actually killed my how my hollis. My horsey. They killed it. Alright, so this is the area that I like to kind of do some fishing in, especially for some salmon. We got uh some ducks down here. There's usually like an eagle that will sit either on this rock or on one of these rocks right here, which is actually really cool. Uh, it's an easy way to make some extra dough here in this area. But what we want to do obviously is grab out our our fishing rod and we're gonna to start to do a little bit of fishing here in this uh, river so the best th way to do that is to obviously have either a river lure or a special river lure like I have here and then I'm gonna to try to get actually over on this rock and see if that's possible I like to be actually up on rocks when I do some fishing it seems like it's easier and you can see that all the salmon that you guys could ever want are right here in this location. And we're actually, we're like right between, like literally right between Valentine and Strawberry. So you guys could choose whatever one that you guys would like to go to uh, to go ahead and uh, sell these beautiful $2.50 fish. And there we go. Easy two fifty, just like that. Just like that. But yeah, this is the location. I'm going to show you guys on the map exactly where we are at. It's, uh, it is honestly like one of the perfect spots to do this at. And like I said, like on these rocks that are like right here is usually going to be an eagle. It's uh, either a bald eagle or a golden eagle that will spawn like right in here. But I'm guessing because of our ambush that we actually had earlier that it didn't spawn. It got, liberty. It got scared away. Maybe it will spawn in and maybe we can get lucky enough as we're fishing here. Well, that was a terrible cast, my dudes. All right, let's try this again. There we go. And you can see that there's there are so many fish in this area that we can go ahead and make a significant amount of money on right here. All right, I'm just going to check around to see what we got for for some of these fish. All right, we got some... Uh, looks like we got a few salmon that are coming in for the kill on our oh we got a couple right here too look at all of them look at all of them you guys 
sometimes it just takes a little bit of patience and make sure that you guys are obviously throwing your 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 line where the fish are actually at. There was just a whole bunch there. I don't know where they decided to move to, but look at all of them right in front of us now. You can see all of them. Beautiful. Perfect. That's another $2.50 right there. All right, but if you guys need a more of a backed out view of where we're located, like literally right between Valentine and Strawberry, making some extra dose. So you can really choose whatever one you wanted to go to, like I was mentioning before. And this is an unlimited supply of salmon right here. Uh, this spot is great for a lot of different reasons. One is there's a lot of other opportunities really close by. Um, you have, like I said, you have the, the eagles that are nearby. You also have other wildlife. You're close to a butcher. Um, you don't have to worry about too many people in this area. I don't see a ton of people down in this valley. The only time that I really ever see people that are down here is honestly, if they're doing some kind of stranger mission and they're doing some kind of like wagon heist or what, delivery or whatnot, that is honestly the only time that I really ever see people down in this area at all. So let's go ahead and just continuously make some ca some cash here. And look at that. Look at all of that. It's just it's so much money. So much money to be had here in this river fishing these salmon right there. Look at that. Now he's got to get them attracted to our line. It looks like we had a couple maybe coming towards it. All right. Come on, salmon. I don't know what's taking you guys so long. There we go. There we go. That seemed like it took a long time for them to be attracted to it, but then just quickly reel them in and no worries whatsoever. Easy, easy dough, just like that. So let's go ahead and cast it back in. And every time that you guys do this, obviously we're going to make 25 bucks. So you might as well, you know, fill up your satchel and then go ahead and bring it to any one of the butchers. And then they just kind of rinse and repeat and then pick up things along the way, you know, whether it's a deer or a couple birds or whatever it might be, some of the ducks in the area. Then that way you guys will actually, you know, make some extra cash. And that's what it's, that's honestly what it's all about. And that's what I'm here to kind of help you guys do as best as possible to find some of these great locations to make these, uh, this cash, whether it's a little bit more secluded or not. Um, kind of away from people so you guys can enjoy doing your thing. Um, though lately when I've been playing in Red Dead Online, I haven't been griefed as much. Uh, most people are actually honestly trying to just complete their challenges. That's what I've noticed. And then they, they leave right away. I don't know if you guys are noticing that as well, but that's pretty much the only time that I have been noticing it. And obviously I know there's one even today that there's a, a horseback challenge where you kill 10 people on horseback which i really don't like the fact that they're doing the pvp daily challenges but that's kind of a a different point so to speak but i think we've already caught what five or six of these guys not too shabby not too shabby at all all right so let's just go ahead and kind of continue this up you can see that there's a few there on the right hand side, but for whatever reason, if you guys don't see any more salmon, you can do one of two things. You can either ride away and make sure that this specific location is outside of your mini map, or what you could do is use your special spinner or any other type of bait and catch some of the other smaller fish in the area. And that will try to get the, the salmon to spawn um, as well. Um, either way works just fine. I've done it both ways and it does work. This, the main, make sure that whatever you do, don't cross the river when you're trying to fish. So like, say if you're on, like, say I was coming from Valentine and I was wanted to fish on that side. Don't cross the river here because you're going to get the fish to spawn on this side. And it seems like it's harder to catch them. Uh, in my experience, I don't know if it's actually statistically true, but that's what it seems like for me. It doesn't seem like as many fish will spawn in that area look at that though i mean look at all the salmon that are down there you guys i mean that's so much money i wish i wish that the salmon were four dollars and fifty cents per fish again that would be amazing if rockstar would actually bring that back and balance some more of the economy all right there we go i knew it was getting pretty close there 
He's just gonna fight a little bit. We're gonna control him, and then we're just gonna go and reel him in real quick. Like, look at that. I mean, just easy peasy, guys. Twenty-five dollars, just like that, for just kind of you know, chilling out, having a good old time. And what's nice about this, like I said earlier, is that you guys can do other things in the area as well. And you can do this overnight. You don't have to really worry about as much either. I mean, this is an overnight activity and does not take does not take a lot of skill, especially when you can get the special river lure. You don't have to really worry about anything. Uh, you don't have to worry about your line breaking and losing your, your lure at all. So I recommend that you guys get that special river lure as soon as you possibly can. Because even if my line were to break right now, I would still keep my, my lure. So that's great. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys do get 10 of your salmon in your satchel, you guys will make 25 easy dollars. And that's all there really is to it. Just go ahead and keep that guy, put him in our satchel, and make a profit. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.